Hey guys, my name is Bob Blue, and welcome back to another video. So we're back again with the top five. A lot of you thought it was a great idea and I certainly enjoyed making it. And I thought today we would take a look at top five, at least my top five favorite seal clubbers. And seal clubber is a, when you take a ship uh, or sorry, a high tier player and sometimes put insane commanders in low tier ships. And then you go, yeah playing uh, let's not use the term more because i don't think youtube like it but anyways off with the number five we have tier six war spite and repulse now i put two here since i prefer the repulse but a lot of people like the war spite and they're both great ships we're seeing the war spite here i have not played this thing a ton but uh we're gonna shoot at the julio chesada here also a very well known seal clubber and he takes two citadels so this thing has some punchy guns they turn relatively quick, actually, and they are very punchy, like I said. The Warspite is way more tanky because it is a battleship, whereas we have the Repulse here. This is a battle cruiser, just like the Hood. This is Hood's sister ship, if I'm not mistaken. So, I prefer this one simply because I like the fact that you have a speed boost 2, or engine, uh, what's it called? engine boost 2, and then you get rapid reload 2 as well. Which is awesome. And there we have another double citadel on a Nuremberg who goes down right there. So these are some pretty good BBs. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Warspite you can buy in the shop for not that much. And it's a great BB to learn on. And it's fun to play as well. Great for training captains. So for the number 4 spot I have put the Sirius. Now this is one of my favorite low tier ships. The Sirius is... As you can see, a light cruiser, you get three smoke one. Some defensive fire that's kind of, you know, it's there. It's it's okay. And then you get three torpedoes per side that reload relatively quick. Now, as you can see, this thing has HE. So unlike other British light cruisers, this thing actually has HE. So it's kind of like a mix between, a, you know, what, what could you call it? Um, it's kind of like a Belfast at tier six, but it's also kind of like an Atlanta. Um, it's very squishy. But super fun to play. Sets a ton of fires and I've actually gotten a game with full players where I got uh, I think it was 106k but I have I had forgotten to record it was so dumb. Um, I definitely would have loved to upload that video but I highly recommend this ship and don't worry there's also gonna be a tech tree you know equivalent in this but you know it's mostly s premiums that are seal clubbing ships since they are you know pretty good. So you don't want to be showing too much broadside in this thing unless you want to die because you will get smacked. But there you go. This is the Sirius. In the number three spot, we have the Nuremberg. Now, this is one of my favorite ships, and I even bought the historical camo. And I also included the Konigsberg because this thing is also great. These are some amazing cruisers at tier five and six. And it's arguably the most enjoyable part of the heavy cruiser line in the German tech tree. Just watch this AP, look how precise it is and look how much damage that Farragut just suffered. These things are insanely fun to play and the Konigsberg gets 360 turrets. Now I, did, I didn't include a Konigsberg for footage because I I have the Nuremberg, I think that's also, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, just you don't have 360 but you know, your guns are great. They're really good. <laughs> really good guns. And this was my first, like, the first time I felt like I was good at the game when I first started playing. This was my first line, the German cruiser line. And it's the first time I ever felt good in this game. Now, guys, I was a really bad player back then. I think most of us were. But I remember fond memories of this thing. I just, it, it's a very, very recommended cruiser. If you don't want to go further in the tech tree and just stick with the tier 5 and 6, you could totally do that if you prefer low tiers these things are nuts look at the accuracy look at the ap pen it's awesome now i want to clarify quickly what i define as these you know low tier really good ships it's it's from tier four to six in my opinion that at least that's where i play i would not go to tier three um i rarely do it at least um here we have you know some good ships at a pretty fun tier and people tend to play in a very different way here I, I really sometimes actually enjoy the way people play in low tiers it's a lot more nonchalant <laughs> you know people actually play like they want to have fun and not just camp I know it's because most of them don't really know what they're doing but anyways the number two spot goes to the Yubari and the Yahagi these are 
some of my absolute favorite ships at low tier. I play them all the time. The reason is they act like, well, the Yahagi we see here has eight, you know, insane torpedoes. I'm pretty sure they're, you know, equivalent to at least tier eight torpedoes, and they absolutely devastate everything they touch. Now, the Yahagi has eight, like I said, and they reload in quite a long time compared to the Yubari at tier four. But they are kind of the same thing. Now, we just did a perfect snipe on that Emil Baton, and this thing is great. You have low detection, you get a speed boost, as you can see, DFAA, and here we see the torpedoes in action. Um, they're great in this tier, and the, the reason they're amazing at low tiers and completely devastate BBs is because a lot of BB players tend to just sail straight. <laughs> um, now, this guy hit a, hit a rock, so it was kind of hard to predict what he was going to do, but we did get two torpedoes. The, these things are awesome, and the Yahagi is pretty rare compared to the Yubari. I'm pretty sure you can just buy, buy the Yubari in the shop. And I must say, ever since I got the Yubari, I was, I've been having no problem, you know, playing with guys that need to grind a tech tree at tier four or five. It's no problem. It's pretty much a win rate booster at this point because they're they're so good. These ships, they are really fun to play. They are, you know, pretty. You will get hurt if you show too much broadside, as you can see, I'm very low. Um, but the torpedo smack, we only got two in on that Congo, but he, he still took a ton of damage. Now here we have the Ubari, which is a tier 4, and the torpedoes on this thing are a little different. They reload a lot faster, but you only get four, and they are really tight, the spreads, which is awesome. In this clip you're going to see here, we're going to absolutely torpedo beat these guys. They <laughs> they get absolutely wrecked. Just, just let, I'm just going to let it play. So yeah, you see these things are maneuverable and they are fun to play. They are just like DDs, but they have, you know, cruiser guns and they, they can actually fight off other, you know, DDs better than a destroyer would. But you see the torpedo angles are devastating and you I just took a ton of damage for that. Now, the, the, the number one, of course, it has to be the Giulio Cesare. I think this is the most insane and fun BB at low tier there is. It's insanely maneuverable and the guns feel great. So this is the ultimate, I'm going to say it again one more time, seal clubbing ship. If you want to have fun at low tier, just play this thing. But I mean, if, it, if, if I can't, you know, convince you, just look at this game. We have four in total in this game and they, you know, we're, we're just shooting at each other the whole game. You get precise aiming, which is great at this low tier. And you're going to see it in action here. This Konigsberg thought he was going to get away, but no... We're sending in the, the, the artillery from, from downtown, and he he's not going to get away. Boop. This thing is a great ship, and as you see there, it's easy to dodge shells. This thing is, like I said, super maneuverable, and I run a full steering build on my Julio with um, main battery mod 1, I'm pretty sure, so to get the turrets turning faster, right? This thing is super fun, and I've... I think my commander is level 10 at this point, just from playing this thing. It's, it's super fun. Like I said, I, I mean... You, you guys that have it know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a little bit too good as well, I mean. But at this low tier, I mean, I don't really care if I'm playing something OP. It's it's just fun. Especially when you when you get into those battles where you're, you're the only, you know, premium ship in the game. And you just feel so bad for completely annihilating the enemy team. And they, they probably don't even know what to do against you, what's your gimmick and, you know, who, who's the biggest threat on, any, threat on the enemy team. But anyways... That has been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly like making these as well. So if you have a topic you want me to cover, please put it in the comments. And I would love to hear what your top five um, ships of low tier smackinings are. My name has been Bob Lune. I hope you all are doing great. And I'm signing out.